Hey everyone, Dr. Travis Whitney here with Innate Healthcare, and today's topic that we're gonna discuss are what are stem cell therapies used for? So that opens up a huge topic, uh, but I'll hit on some of the most common ones people mostly uh, search out stem cell therapies for, and, and I'll discuss some of the most common uh, conditions that I treat um, and have treated in the past. Uh, most commonly, stem cell therapies are used for joint pain. Um, knee, back, shoulder, neck, ankle, any kind of joint musculoskeletal pain. Um, another very common treatment is for neuropathy. Um, nerve, which is a nerve pain, you know, a lot of burning, tingling pains, uh, sometimes numbness, sometimes shooting electrical sensations, uh, most commonly in the feet, and most commonly seen in diabetics. Um, autoimmune is another huge, uh, huge category of treatments uh, that has been in the research for years, but is making its way a, a lot more common into, into clinics and hospitals. Um, Multiple sclerosis is, is a big one, um, ankylosing spondylitis, um, autism. So there's a, a lot of different autoimmune diseases. Crohn's, I've had a lot of good successful treatments with Crohn's disease. And a lot of chronic diseases like Lyme's and mold disease are, are starting to make, make their way into a lot of stem cell therapy treatments as well because of the antimicrobial properties that the uh, stem cells themselves possess. They make a little protein called uh, LL37, I believe it is, and that has is antimicrobial. So you're starting to see them a lot used in chronic uh, conditions like Lyme's. Um, neurocognitive, uh, so especially earlier, the, the stage, the better. Uh, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, uh, aging, just aging, there's gonna be a huge boom, trust me with the, about this, over the next five, five to 10 years with uh, imploring uh, stem cell medicine as used as kind of like an anti-aging. I don't like that word anti-aging, I prefer like age-defying because you're, you're defying the normal aging process. Um, you're kind of slowing things down and you're, and you're making aging not as bad as it sometimes uh, can be. Um, so those are the most common, the most commonly, uh, most common conditions I've treated are definitely anything orthopedic. Um, if you have a, uh, a bad joint, if you have a um, osteoarthritis of your knee or your shoulder or your back, maybe a degenerative disc disease or whatever label uh, it, it, it's, it's been given as to the cause of your pain, I would a hundred percent recommend looking into a good qualified uh, stem cell therapy uh, doctor or clinic uh, to have treatments plural treatments if you watch my other videos you'll know that i'm a stickler for having a therapy lined up and not just going in for one treatment and hoping you're going to miraculously be cured um, so go in for your uh, stem cell therapy treatments before you have any kinds of really major surgery um, Neuropathy, great, amazing success with neuropathy. I've treated lots of autoimmune uh, conditions. I would say out of my close to 900 treatments, I'd say well more than half of them have been orthopedic and with very great success. I'm not talking mild success. I'm not talking a little bit of my pain goes away and stays away. Watch some of my testimonials, read some of them. I'm talking 100% pain-free within a couple weeks and it lasts. And if they start getting active again, um, if they start doing hiking and exercising more and they, and they feel that pain start to come on, their body recovers pretty quickly. So um, don't wanna make this too long of a dragged on uh, conversation, but those are the most common conditions I see treated in, uh, in the stem cell therapy world. Um, hope that was helpful to you. Uh, uh, leave a comment below if there's any kind of uh, questions or anything stem cell therapy related or healthcare in general related you'd like me to do a video on and uh, we'll see you in the next video.